Hey what's up, I'm Styler. In this video I will unbox and show you the 7.7mm thin ZTE Blade S6 from Gearbest.com that comes with some really powerful hardware. So I'm pretty excited because uh, this is my first phone from uh, ZTE and uh, this is also going to be my first phone from China with the uh, lollipop out of the box. Inside this phone we find a 64-bit Qualcomm Snapdragon Octa-Core CPU, 2GB RAM, 16GB ROM, support for micro SD cards, 4G LTE dual SIM, a 5-inch HD IPS display, camera with the Sony IMX214 CMOS sensor and Android 5 Lollipop with Mi Favor 3.0 UI. I would call this the iPhone 6 clone killer because it looks like an iPhone 6 clone but it is overall just much better than all other clones that you currently can find. So of course this is not a one to one clone of the iPhone 6 but it has some similarities especially the silver body and shape but it also has its own style and we see that in the home button that looks pretty elegant with just a small circle. So uh, I got this phone shipped with the DHL in only 3 days. So uh, what I got from uh, Gearbest was this power adapter and uh, they always ship an extra power adapter with the phones. So that's a really good thing. And this one comes for free. And um, we have here the, the phone, the ZTE Blade. We see here the logo. And um, you see the, the box here in the light here has some kind of uh, finish so that's why it shines a little bit strange when I do this but we see here the ZTE logo we see it says Blade S6 very nice on this side we see it's sealed same here so here we will find the email numbers and serial numbers we see the model number once again here in the corner we see it's the silver version we see made in China by ZTE Corporation. Then we also see it's the Qualcomm Snapdragon as told in the beginning. We have Android 5.0. We have the Octa-Core CPU 1.5 GHz, 5 inch HD display, 30 megapixel rear camera and 5 megapixel front camera. We also see specs about the memory and the battery and we see it's dual SIM. Okay, so let's open up the box and let's have a look on the phone. So let's see, we see it's the white version, the white silver version here. Let's just turn it around and uh, what you notice is that it looks a lot like the iPhone 6. Let's have a look here on the back first. We see here LED flash. We see the rear camera. I think we have here a noise cancelling microphone. Or it could also be a reset hole. We have here the ZTE logo in silver. Then we also see here, I think it's a sticker on the back. With some information. We have the email numbers once again. We see CE logo. Below here we find the back speaker and uh, let's have a look here on the side of the phone. So here we see the SIM tray and we also see here a tray for the micro SD card. So it's dual SIM, dual nano SIM. Let's have a look here in the top. Here we only find the 3.5 mm headphone jack. In the bottom we find here the micro USB port together with a microphone. And uh, here we see the power button together with the volume rocker. We see nice here. And uh, let's have a look here on the front. So here we first of all see here the home button. And I believe this one will pulse or light up. We also see here the front facing camera, we have the earpiece, the proximity sensor and light sensor. We also see some information here on the sticker, U-shaped curved screen, Hi-Fi, SmartSense, 
30 megapixel camera, dual nano sim, LTE, Snapdragon 615 processor. We see Blade S6 and we see here it should come with the Android 5.0 lollipop out of the box. So it looks really nice and uh, I'm curious to see how it looks inside. So let me just peel off the plastic here. Okay. And I will also remove it from the back. Let me just turn around the phone 360 degree so we can see the design. Let me put this phone aside now and let's see what we else have here. We have here the warranty card from ZTE. We find the wall charger. Let's have a look. There's a C logo. And actually this one looks to be in a really good quality, it's not cheap at all. You also see here it looks pretty good here inside. Then we of course also find here a micro USB cable to charge it and transfer data to the phone looks to be pretty standard. We find here a SIM tray opener, a pin. Then we also have here, I think this is a quick start guide in Chinese. So yeah, we can't use that for much. Only the pictures we can look at. We have here another manual and this one is in English quick start guide so this one we can use okay okay so let me just try to power up the phone let us see if it has any power left okay we see the ZTE logo see the Android logo here Okay, so it seems the phone is booted now and we're here on the lock screen. So let's see, okay, Wi-Fi is found and let me just turn on the screen again and let's see, okay, you slide up here. We have some shortcuts here below. Let's just unlock. Okay, we see here the UI and uh, let's just see what we have here. So, okay, it looks to be lollipop in fact and uh, we have the lowest brightness set right now okay you can even set it really really bright and then it's getting light the theme here it's getting dark the theme pretty nice let me just set it like this i think or here maybe let's try here Okay, so we see here the UI and um, let's see if we can do something here, yeah. We can also change the background directly here. Nice. And let's try wallpaper.
okay let's just check out the speed here and uh, the speed seems to be really good it's fast really really snappy we also have light here in the, the buttons here we see here menu back and home i believe okay let's see what that's touch all tips something with the keyboard here okay let's hold we'll open up okay google yeah and uh, let's see what we else have here you can hold here and we see here the cards here this is definitely android 5 lollipop Let's go back again and uh, let me see can I do like this yeah I can we have here the quick toggles let's have a look inside settings so lollipop is pretty new for me I haven't played much around with it before but uh, actually I also have it on my LG G3 and my Nexus 7 tablet let's see here in about phone so here we see Android version 5.0 and uh, let's just check Lollipop so it confirms we have Lollipop yeah okay and uh, we also find this uh, slightly curved uh, screen here the edges here um, are not just plain we also have this uh, uh, curve rounded edge here around so uh, it feels really nice there's no sharp ed edges there when you put your finger like this just like on the iPhone and uh, I really like that and uh, let's have just a quick look into the camera app okay so the camera app here seems to be pretty fast and um, seems to give a good picture here you must remember it's using a sony sensor so it should be a pretty good camera let's just try some text here for example here let me just try okay so let's have a look yeah we see really good quality here you can see even the smallest pixels here So that's it for the unboxing and first hands-on of the ZTE Blade S6 from GearBest.com. Remember also to check out my blog, you find the link in the video description. If you have any questions, please comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching, see ya!